Hello again and welcome to the Benson and Valley Railway, uh, my little model railway, my workshop that I'm starting to build and I've been doing some video blogs on the build. You might have seen some of my videos on the Arduinos which um, I will be going back to but at the moment I've been concentrating on the track work and some of the layout but hopefully when I've got the track the main lines going around is finished I can start building the Arduinos with signals and I'm just going to do this video just as a blog to show you what I've been doing. Um, so the main concentration at the moment electrically um, is running the buzz bar underneath the track. Um, so this is my 1mm copper wires underneath the track. Um, one of them is the negative, uh, or one side of the track, or, and the other side of the track, negative and positive if you want to call it. Um, these are connected over here to um, my s pops which are up here on the layout. Um, and these are just solder joints. Now I did used to use the electrical connection blocks, blocks that you can buy. But it just got so messy trying to get so many cables in each blocks, and each block then um, being connecting on to the next block, it just become a complete mess. This is a much better way I found of doing it. It runs around the whole layout, um, so at any point you're you're a ring main, it connects from one end all the way around. So at any point you've got two one mil ca cables going to each track bit, so it should be enough easily to be able to take the current for this layout. So as you can see, if I want to show you around the track. You can see that copper wire going all the way around, and from the copper wire, I have my connections that go through the um, CT transformers. You can see here, it's just soldered off the one mil copper track through the CT and then up onto the tracks. And then the two blue and white wires that are coming out um, go off to my Arduinos. I found this, like I say, much much neater way, an easier way to control it. Um, for wiring onto this where I don't want to solder on for temporary connections um, example over here um, if I'm just get this wire here if I wanted to solder, connect this up I would just lo loop it onto here twist it around and that's it, it's connected this gives me a temporary connection um, until I get my CTs connected up and it works fine um, so it's a much much easier way of connecting up some of your track work if anyone's interested in doing that um, some of the other works I've been doing I've got one of my Arduinos over here, the Nano um, resistors are connected up here for the CTs. I've got my capacitor here as well, which you've seen in my previous blog. Um, one resistor here is for one of the signals that I've got connected, and this Arduino is going to come out control. Um, hopefully, when I get out of money, I and I'll show you when it's out of money. Um, this will control the occupied of two, or three or four parts of the track, and hopefully three signals. Um, and then this is one of the signals that I've made up up here, and which connects up to it. Now these signals, I'll show you the little box, I've bought these from China, um, little box you can get, they come with the plastic bits which is the top part of it, you do have to make a back to it as you can see I've just glued on a back cardboard piece at the moment which should be painted in and somehow I'm going to make some steps so that end gauge steps are going to be quite difficult to make. Um, I'll show you me making up one of these on a vlog one day. It comes with all your wiring, it's quite small wiring. Um, it, it comes with resistors and all the LEDs. It's quite small LEDs. Yeah, about I think about uh, probably one, uh, two mil LEDs or maybe three mil LEDs in there. It's a quite a good little pack, cheap from eBay. Still got to make up the power supply. There it is over there. Is my bench power supply, the power and everything at the moment. And um, still got a lot of work to do. So on the main layout, I walk around the room. This is going to be my two main lines, and you can see my station is being built up. Still to be finished. Got LED lighting already in it. You should see it light it up. And this will be one of my up lines over here with this train sitting on at the moment. This will be my down line. And it, it's going to be the seaside area. This is going to be called the Valley Railway Station. Um, so you'll have a road from here going down to your seaside. As you can see, I've started building up some of the seaside. This is made from a plaster mix. I'll just go and get the plaster mix one minute. So this is from being uh, being Q's. It's called um, Easy Fill. I've had this for a few months, and because it's old and it goes off, it sets really, really quick, which is handy for doing modelling. Not so good with your plaster in a wall, but for this set work, it's brilliant. Um, for the these pieces over here, the block, well, um, the rocks and stuff, I managed. I've got a mould which I pour it, put the mix in, pour it out, and they become the blocks. So this is going to be my sea breakers for the sea and as you see I've started painting the sea this was just plastered on um, making some parts raised as you can see and the waves 
are all made from the plaster. Um, and then I've slowly started painting it using some water paint based paints. New to me, so still working on that. And the seaside wall over here, which is the lower part, will be my port area where boat and fishermen and um, stuff will all be crossed there. Which is good, but mate, the steps as you can see have been carved out of the plaster work, and the walls, you can get it straight enough. I've carved out all the brickwork, which when painted, I'm working on the colours. Um, will show up the mortise lines. So that seems to be coming on quite nice. And the top part up here will be um, for the trains to come into for a turnaround, also for a crane to take off all the fish and stuff that comes in from the pool. I've done some ballasting, um, which is another new thing for me. Coming up quite well actually. It takes a bit of time because the ballast gets onto the track and I've had to clean it off. And the tracks do go, uh, for some reason, a horrible colour from the glue. So it looks like I'm going to have to go around cleaning and painting all these areas at some point. But this is, so this is the ascent, this is the valley seaside scene at the moment just being built. As you can see the signal box is built but uh, tipping over at the moment because it's not being fitted in place. The lines follow around, as you can see my copper track lines come through underneath. So it's following around the whole room. And then I've already got my bridge over the door. There's going to be two lines up the up and down, fast lines going across this area, so you'll have both lines. The bridges are going to be held into place with a nut and bolt, which will be wing nutted in precision. And to hold the tracks down, I've nailed in two nails, which are soldered to each side of the track, um, so it allows it to be a good secure connection, and it's close enough for the trains at the moment to get across. I've not had any problems with this at the moment. We'll see how it goes when I get the smaller um, carriages on. The electrical connection is just two lines off the track and they come down to two crocodile clips and which are connected to the underneath buzz bar I've shown you and this allows me to easily disconnect and reconnect if I need to get out of the room. And this then goes to the other side which are nailed down and two crocodile clips over this side which connects onto this side of the buzz bar track. And, and that buzz bar track I'll show you is under here. You can see it going around the room, so it follows around as a complete loop around the room. The fan that's running there which is a little tiny fan, it's my heating in the room, just blowing off the radiator. This side of the room is only got the one branch line at the moment, it will have both. They're both of them are going to run up and down, so this would be my um, up branch line at the moment, it's on there, and I've still got to do the downside. And over at this side of the room, which is getting around my chair, we've got the single one at the moment, like I say, this is where it splits, this turn out here is where it will split to give me the two lines. Because over this bridge here, it will be a single line, a single bi-directional bi line. I've decided to do one over this one to make it easier, mainly because of the turnouts. I've got three turnouts to put over here, and a small amount of space. So I couldn't get all three in, um, and be able to get the turns within this area. So it's going to have this one here to make up my second branch line and then it's got to have another one that's going to come across here which is going to be my seaside and well not sorry not seaside my country um, part of the layout and hopefully to get a canal area and a bridge and everything on this side so that's still a long way off from being made and that's the reason why this had a single branch line this bridge hasn't been finished completely it's held in place the trains go around it fine it's just not been electrical buzz bar connections i run out of the copper wire which is on order over this side, um, again, the copper wires, I'll show you over here, this is one of the reasons why I did the copper wire in rather than the um, chocolate block. Some of these are just wound on these cables because they're not finished. But this has got all the connections for all the points, the turnouts, for, um, and for three branch, one branch line and two main lines that are on this area. So you can see how it can become quite messy. And that's why I found that this copper wire system is a much, much better way, an easier way than using the electrical blocks. On top of here, as these two lines go across, I've got the split turnout here to bring it back into the two up and down main lines, and then it turns off again. So these have become the two main lines where my fingers are pointing here, and this one on the side, on the right hand side, is the one that will be going up to my upper level on, on this side of the um, layer. Um, it will have a bridge, or this whole lot will be covered over, and it will have a tunnel part built up here with the signals boxes up here for these all these turnouts and as it goes around these two on the back against the wall are my two up and down branch line uh, main lines 
and this is my um, branch line which would be again bi-directional um, running and that would be going up to my upper level as you can see it goes over the top of these two quite nicely I've still got that to finish off I'm slowly plastering that in just for support reasons that will be covered over with um, more of a modelling decorated side of it but the plaster that I'm using is just when it starts to go off I'm putting it underneath there and it allows this to be a much more solid um, bridge that I'm building up so that goes onto the top layers up here which at the moment is only got two lines going in uh, this allows uh, a tra train to go down there one to be on the right hand side to come out connect on and take it off down this area which will have, you can see all the blocks in there for the upper layer which will have hopefully a main terminal station and some shops I think that's it uh, that's the main part I've still got a power supply to build there you can see it's running off my bench power supply over here and there's not much more I can say about it at the moment it's slow process and getting there I will get back to the Arduinos I know some people are asking questions on them on my, on my uh, website blog so I will get back to them because um, that's the main way I want to run it really and I will be probably getting a uh, Raspberry Pi up and running to run this rather than running it on the PC I've been told it runs a bit faster and hopefully uh, that will work out so thanks for watching any questions post it on the YouTube or go to my website and post it, you can email me personally on the website uh, I'll try and answer anything I know um, but this is new to me I'm, but, and we'll see how we get on and I'll update you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.